Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we're learning how to play a three note chord, which is called a triad. By the way, some younger students, I'm thinking maybe ages five and six and under, this may be too difficult a technique. If so, that's okay. You can simply skip this lesson. It won't be a problem at all. Just come back to this in a few months when your hands are a little bigger. If you're staying with me, let's close the lid of our piano to have a flat surface to practice on. If your piano doesn't have a lid, that's okay. Just find something flat, like a table or desk to use. First, let's review a two note chord. All right, you already know how to do a two note chord with fingers one and five. So let's practice just touching fingers one and five on a flat surface, like we're playing chords. Remember that finger one plays on its side near the tip, and finger five should touch near the tip as well, not flat on this part of the finger. So let's practice touching three chords. One, two, three. Whenever you finish playing a chord, remember to lift from the wrist to relax the hand while the fingers stay near the keys. Now for a three note chord, in addition to fingers one and five, we're also going to add finger three. So touch with one and five and then add finger three while fingers two and four stay floating in the air. Now try to touch those three fingers at the same time and then float up with the wrist. Five times, go. One, float up, two, float up, three, float up, four, float up, five. So now you're touching with fingers one, three, and five to make a three note chord. Good, now let's try it with the left hand. So with our left hand, let's start by just practicing our two note chord again, fingers one and five touching, and then lift the wrist to relax. Let's do it three times. One, relax. Two, lift the wrist. Three, relax. Good. Now let's turn that into a three note chord by using fingers one and five, and then lowering down finger three so it's touching two. So we're touching with fingers one, three, and five. Fingers two and four float in the air. And we'll do that five times. We'll touch and then release. Touch. Release by floating the wrist. Three, relax. Four, relax. And then five, float up. Good, now let's try it on the piano keys. So to play our three note chord, or triad, today we're going to be using do, mi, and so. Probably the most common triad in music. So let's place our right hand on the C major pentascale and try to only touch with fingers one, three, and five on C, E, and G. Let fingers two and four float up in the air a little bit. And then, using the weight of your arm, drop on C, E, G to make this sound. Isn't that a great sound? Try that on your own now. Good. Now, let's try it three times together touching only C, E, and G, and then dropping, then remembering to float your wrist back up after each chord. Let's do it three times. Go. Chord, release. Chord, release. Chord, release. Good. Now let's try it with the left hand. Cover up the C major pentascale with the left hand, and allow only fingers five, three, and one to touch. With fingers two and four floating gently in the air, Let's try a chord using the left hand. Now you try by yourself. Good, now let's do it three times together. Go. Chord, release. Chord, release. Chord, release. Good job. Okay, now let's try a three note triad in D major. If we're in the D major pentascale, Do is on D, Mi is on F sharp, and so is on A. Once again, we'll use fingers one, three, and five. Only touch those three notes, and we try to drop down. Can you try that? It's your turn. Good. Now let's try it in the left hand. Cover up the D major pentascale, and only allow your fingers to touch Do, Mi, and So. 
And now let's drop down to make a D major chord. Your turn. Good job. So from now on, now that you know about triads, when you play hand over hand chords, let's use triads. So we'll have D major, and then we cross over, and then back down. You can also add triads to songs you're already familiar with, like let's try Mouse in the House. With your left hand, can you cover up the C major pentascale? We're going to play a triad using C, E, and G while we sing Mouse in the House. We're going to play one chord every two beats, like this. One, two, one, two. Let's sing Mouse in the House while we play chords. Ready, go. Mouse, mousey, in the housey, hurry, hurry, do. Or the kitty in the housey will be chasing you. Run! One last thing you can do with triads is to improvise. Let's go back to the D major pentascale. My left hand is going to play the D major triad, which sounds like this. While my left hand plays triads, my right hand's going to make up a melody. I can play any note that sounds good to me, like this. And that's a song I just made up. You can try doing the same yourself in the D major or the C major pentascale. Great job learning how to play three note chords today. For practice, I'd like you to try hand over hand triads in C and D major every day. Also try adding triads to Mouse in the House and Frog in the Middle. Finally, try making up your own original music by improvising using triads in one hand while the other hand plays a melody. Have lots of fun making music. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. How am I supposed to play a three note chord? I only have two claws. But I have lots of teeth. Arrgh!